So for more analysis, we are joined by Raymond Young, Chief Economist for Greater China at ANZ. Now, Raymond, major economic indicators coming in a bit worse than expected. Uh, which sectors worry you the most? Uh, you look at the retail sales numbers, contraction of nearly 6%, 5.9% contractions, obviously tells us how difficult the situation the Chinese consumption uh, sector is and also uh, in general, the social immobility has uh, impacted the overall um, uh, spending appetite, uh, even though if you are not locked down, but you don't really want to go out. And uh, that has been um, a major drag of the whole economy. Um, so also see some um, the uh, downturn of this uh, industrial production number uh, with just 2.2% in November and overall for the full uh, year is very likely to be uh, continue to be uh, less than 4% this year, uh, with 3.8% year to day. So that tells us that supply chain disruptions also happens because of the COVID uh, situation. And um, for, for me, you know, the, I also watch closely what is actually happening in December. And the situation doesn't seem to be um, improving, of course, because of the uh, recent relaxation and uh, all this COVID relaxing measure basically ask people to stay home, in fact, uh, instead of uh, being locked down uh, narrowly. So I, I think that um, uh, the overall uh, data set today, if you look at that, it's just tell you part of the situation, part of the story and the economic performance in the fourth quarter and overall uh, the situation uh, continue to be uh, very poor. Um, Raymond, talking about seeing things improve, uh, the abrupt change in China's zero tolerance policy has not gotten its expected economic impact so far. So when do you think we will likely see this reopening begin to give China's economy a real boost? I think the situation will continue to be um, worsening in December and also in generally to some extent that we need to wait until the first wave of infections uh, start to peak um, probably in two or three weeks time um, and during the winter season before it's come back to normal probably after the chinese new year and uh, next year the uh, lunar new year will come earlier in um, at the end of january and uh, probably by february and march then the situation will start to stabilize and the uh, relaxation uh, policy or the measures will uh, start to uh, pro provide some dividend to the economy, uh, probably uh, up until the second quarter of the year. And Raymond, China's top leaders will meet soon for the so-called tone-setting meeting to map out next year's economic policies. Uh, what will their priorities be? Yeah, I think that the whole market is looking at this uh, Central Economic Work Conference and um, the focus is clearly be on uh, poverty because uh, the two biggest things that uh, affected the economy last year in the past uh, one and a half years, I would say, is both the COVID uh, situation, COVID policy, and also poverty. Now, China policymakers has already relaxed the COVID um, restriction. So the whole focus will be whether the uh, leadership is willing to relax the uh, poverty policy as well. Now, we know that the work latest has already uh, provided some uh, the green line for property financing support to support the builders and developers to ensure that the delivery of uh, projects. But at the same time, the headline policy of housing is for living, not for speculation uh, remains. So um, I think now the market is looking at whether this slogan will be removed in uh, in the community after the, um, the, the work conference um, um, by tomorrow. Uh, and Raymond, Chinese equities have been rallying on the back of these reopening hopes. Is this sustainable? And where do you think the next catalyst could come from? No, I think, um, as I said, that this uh, reopening uh, theme will continue. And uh, of course, that uh, what we have been seeing in the past few days is that the reopening is a bumpy rise, not a very straightforward. So um, uncertainty will remain and risk will remain um, if the infection situation continue to affect um, consumption. And uh, also um, whether the um, situation will be uh, under control, especially in factories, um, some of these uh, manufacturers will also be affected because uh, of the labor shortage 
and also uh, people may not be able to come to work. So uh, this will continue to affect the uh, manufacturing sector as, uh, as well. So I think the overall market obviously is looking at this uh, reopening as a, a, a theme um, to gauge the uh, outlook for next year. But over the next two or three months, I think that the uh, risk will continue to uh, cloud the economy. Uh, but the overall, I do see that the GDP will be uh, gaining. Um, like next year, we upgrade, recently upgrade our GDP forecast to 5.4% uh, for 2023 because of the normalization. But much of this um, positive impact of normalization will happen after the second quarter and very likely uh, the low base provide a higher year-on-year -year growth in the second half of next year as well. Raymond, thank you much for your insights. That was Raymond Young, Chief Economist for Greater China at ANZ.